Okay, folks, this here is some of my tiny gold. I don't know if you can even see it. It's a few pieces right there. Probably about three or four pieces right there. One, two, three, four. There's five pieces there. Really hard to see on the camera. Um, but it could, I mean, it is some tiny, tiny stuff. Here's some gold on the very top of my table that I put down before on top of my riffles. It's hard to tell if it's gold because of the, the glare and everything that I've got, but that's some gold that's been sitting on the table for quite a few minutes now. It hasn't moved, and I've even adjusted my water level a little bit. There's a little bit more specks. They're tiny. Let's see if I can get anything to move. But that's above my riffles. I just put it there in case it tried to get away from me. I didn't know. I'm still dialing in this table, so... I put it above my riffles because I didn't want to lose it. And I've got gold inside my riffles. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Um, I have my focus out a bit, but there is some gold in there. It's really hard to see because I'm videotaping, of course. But there's gold in that lower riffle, there's gold in the upper riffle, and there's gold in between the riffles. A piece right there. Um, let me try some here. There's, some, there's a loop. I'm going to put this loop on here. Got a loop here. I'm going to put this loop on my camera. I'm going to try and focus in on some of that gold. There you go. It's hard to hold it. You can see how tiny my gold is, and that's why I've got the riffles in there, because I'm afraid I'm going to lose that. There's my bigger gold up here. There's a loop. Ah. Have everything screwed up if I keep videotaping here. Sorry, folks. Let's see. Oak is just trying to get his crap together here. Not a professional videographer, but there we go. There you go. There's my gold. It's not very focused, but doing the best I can. Getting in the water. So, just learning. Sorry, guys. There you go. There's some of my gold right there. Best I can do. There's a lot of glare out here today. You can see all the tiny gold. That's what I'm dealing with. Um, just looking at a piece here in the riffle. Some of it's gold, some of it's just black sand. There's a piece of gold right there. But anyway, that's what I'm dealing with. Um, that's why I put the riffles in there because of the size of gold I'm messing around with. And that is some tiny, 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 tiny stuff. Some of it is, oh God, I'm guessing probably I'm seeing some stuff on here that might be. guessing 200 maybe 300 mesh gold on there um, and it's not moving it's staying put I had some stuff that looked a lot like gold a little bit ago but it was pyrite and it just floated away right on down the table um, now if I disturb this you might even be able to tell That piece right there, that is either float gold <laughs> or pyrite. And I'm guessing pyrite because of the way it's just not, I mean, it's real heavy. 
and I know gold can be in pyrite, but it's rolling. It's still rolling down the table. You can see it, and that's got to be pyrite. You know, and again, it might make a fool out of me, but it's going to go down and off the table. If that was gold, it should have stuck. And it should have stuck. Like that stuff down here on the bottom was. But anyway, um, that's what I've got here. Basically all I've done, some people say roll my holes to the top so I don't get bubbles in it, but I find that if I run this, this matting underneath it, it pretty much pushes all the air out anyway. All the, as it drops through, the air disappears and then it leaves a nice smooth smooth uh, finish on here now what I was wondering about is if how my ruffles would affect the smoothness of my table and from what I'm seeing it's not any smoother really than as it comes out of the out of the mesh so my riffles aren't hurting anything if I wanted to I could take this gold and I could drop it down here first and I wouldn't have a problem but that's pretty good size gold I mean I mean it's not freaking quarter inch mesh gold but it's it's some pretty large gold compared I mean considering I'm I'm dealing with small stuff like that so if I put that down here I'd never lose it if I put that down here it may get away from me so if I put this stuff down here it'd probably get away from me um, it might I'm using a brush I probably could use a card but I don't like using a card on my table because it scratch it'll be scratching the paint and all that other crap I don't want to deal with that so this is just a chalkboard paint I've got on here I'm pretty happy with the way it's working right now basically all it is is a research system I don't know if you can see it I've got my focus is way out for some reason there we go all it is a research system. Got my pump in here, circulating the water back through. Got some soap in there. You notice the soap's not even making it to the table. However, it is breaking, it is breaking surface tension. So, and you can see just as it goes into the riffle, you can see a little bit of surface uh, disturbance, which I'm fine with. I don't have a problem with that. As long as it comes off that second riffle smooth or within just just within an inch of that, I'm happy. Because I can drop my gold down here and it's not going anywhere. If I drop my gold down on this part of the table, if I drop my gold down here, it's not going anywhere. Even this tiny stuff right here probably wouldn't go anywhere. I'm sorry of the focus, it's not the greatest, but if I drop that gold down here, it probably wouldn't go anywhere. But I've got it up above just because of the riffles. Yeah, I'm getting some black sands in there. My idea is to kind of keep running it. But I'm probably going to snuffer it up. And then drop it on the table down here. Just to see what happens to that gold. I hope it don't get away from me. But This container here where I'm recircling from has got a bunch of uh, concentrates in it from when I ran before. And I'm going to rerun that on my table. Um, I'm guessing there might be a gallon worth it. Well, maybe not that. Probably about a quarter of a gallon in there. Uh, I've got to rerun. But this is running really good. I like what I'm seeing. I got my gold there. Y'all wanted to see some of my gold on my Miller table. Well, there it is. I love this little thing. All this here is just repurposed wood. I just had some shelving material that I made some uh, trophy shelves and cases for my kids. Well, they're all out of the house now. They've moved on. They didn't want the shelving. It was already pretty much pre-varnished. Um, so I just put it all together, cut it out, made it what I wanted to make it, and then this is what I've got. Sorry about the glare and the reflection and the uh, out of focus, but I'm liking what I see. But like I said, I could drop that gold right there. I could put that stuff down here on this part of the the table it wouldn't go nowhere and you can see there's some tiny 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 stuff below the bigger stuff there's some tiny stuff there below the bigger stuff and it ain't gonna go anywhere 
So anyway, I'm happy with my Miller table. It works great. Yeah, it's kind of time consuming. I like it better than a blue bowl. Blue bowls just straight suck in my opinion. They're a waste of time. I just don't I just I don't get it. If you're if you're into blue bowls, hey, knock yourself out, but I played at the blue bowl for a long time. I couldn't get that thing dialed in worth the, saving my life. It was just ridiculous. And I just gave up. I th threw it out. Didn't even want to sell it. I just threw it out. So, um, but anyway, I'm having fun here. This is my project. I got a, I got my uh, battery charger here. God, it seems like everything's out of focus this morning. My battery charger there. And I hooked up my battery. Water's running good. Got gold on the table. I'm happy. All right, folks, this is the Oak. 5150 metal recovery. I'm kind of missing my partners, Jeff McAuliffe and Jeff Runnels. HB and and uh, Mac, miss you guys. I want to get back to working again with you. Right now is a crazy time. Uh, I lost my mom not too long ago to Parkinson's disease, and that was really tying me down quite a bit. We've still got some uh, family dinners and stuff we're working on, but um, uh, she's in a better place. She's with my dad, and um, I'm working on my projects, just trying to keep my mind somewhat sane and probably first of the year i'll be able to get out and start start working on some uh some uh projects some gold looking on getting back out to a couple of the mines we've been working on and maybe even go up north with uh with mac for a little bit off and on but anyway folks uh thanks for tuning in thanks for checking out my youtube ta uh, channel and my uh facebook and uh instagram stuff appreciate it uh, I just wish Facebook could get their act together, um, political wise, but anyway, that is what it is. Uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. The Oak, let me see if I can put my ugly mug in here for you. Not that you want to see it, but anywho, The Oak, my project, and have a good day. Again, thanks for tuning in. The Oak 5150 Metal Recovery. Have a good day, folks. Be safe.